still alive. I have some serious host spam going on in my chat with slops going offline, online, offline, online, offline, online. I wonder if he's having problems. He's live, by the way. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Is anybody here? I think we're going to have a quiet start, which may be a chance to get some contracts knocked off before we actually get going with the fish stuff, which is a weird sentence, but this, once a playthrough gets this long, you end up... Uh, Finding yourself saying weird things. I think it's about to overtake GTA 4 as the longest playthrough on the channel. We need some really good music to emphasise this. Game, hello. Come on, you got this. Music. Beautiful, beautiful. Right. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you are here live, or if you are watching later on. I've got some Witcher contracts to do, I realised, as I was setting up today, and both of them include boobs. Now, I don't know whether that's... Uh, whether it would be against Terms of Service to have a day dedicated to doing quests involving naked people. Maybe that would be me putting too much focus on it. But... I think we can tick at least one off before we start. The devourers. The big, like, hag things with the danglers. You know the ones. Right. Can we get the game up and where are we going? Where are we looking? Right, we're off. I hope, anyway. There's some, like, Nintendo conference or something going on this afternoon, I think. Whoa, 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 music. Everything's doubling up. Right, come on, stubble. Take this time to do some grunt work while everybody filters in. Some call it grunt work because of what we're killing. It may be a bit bad taste. Thank you very much, music. Eric, welcome to the stream. Just having a quiet start while everybody filters in. I'm thinking of doing a contract to start. Are you well, Eric? There is no list for this game, Eric. We do marbles at the very end to determine who wins. Because this is not a game where you die a great deal. Oh, but hopefully on the next game, when this game finishes in six years or however long it's going to be, then we can do uh, we can guess chops for Half-Life we're playing. The remake. Black Mesa. We'll do chops for that. What an amazing start. We had Pescatarian, Teeter and Alvin on the same screen. Geralt, hello. What's new? What do we know? Right, so, let me just get a nice view to check the quests. The quests that I have, that I think need doing, this is the main one. I'm going to go and talk, of, uh, talk about why the uh, fish people and the humans are so... why there's a race war going on. But this contract here... The local witch will pay for ten devourer teeth. So there's that one. I don't know where devourers are, though. I don't know if they're out on a night. And then we've got this one, the alp contract. The village chief will pay anyone who brings him five alp fangs. Now, they're the, like, naked vampire ladies. And they're the naked drowner ladies. So there's going to be a lot of that, it seems. I don't think I have the alp... Uh, Oh, I do now. Oh. Alps lurk in caves, ruins, and abandoned houses, always near human settlements. If I can find a place where there's a bunch of Alps, then we may be all right. But is there any crypts or anything that I haven't cleared out already? There's the one near Berengar that used to be full of Alps, but I killed them all. No other monster inspires so many myths and fallacies as the Alp. Okay, we'll do Alps first. Then we'll do the others. Got it. Now, where's there going to be a crypt or anything? Though? There's that one, but I've already cleared that out. Passage to the fields. Is there any crypt in Murky Waters? I'm assuming the elven cave is just full of elves as opposed to vampires. Let's head out. Frame rate looks weird today. Alright, is that balanced? Should be fine. Okay. 
Yeah, let's. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Murky Waters. If we can get these two contracts chopped off while there's not many people in them, we can go and start the big stupid political stuff later on when we need uh, many minds on it. I don't like being out at night. I always feel like I'm going to get attacked. What am I like for uh, whetstones? Not many. I might drop a few things off at the bank before we head out. See, that's the devourer contract. Got a hold of devourer teeth? Don't cast them away. Bring ten sets to the witch's hut for a reward paid out in pure gold. I fancy that, but we don't need the book in our bags. I'm going to go check if there is any crypts in the uh, in the fields area. Oh, fuck. Alright you, I can see you. Let's have it. A one shot stun would be rather nice. You ready? Absolutely cut him down. Chopped. Good. Take the wyvern meat in case there's a contract in the future. Rest in peace, Augur. Eaten by a wyvern before his time. You can sod off, Alvin. I thought I chased you away yesterday. Right, we need to go to a crypt and kill some naked ladies. As quests go, not a bad one. Need to speak to Berengar as well at some point. There is so much to do in this game, Jesus. Ryan, welcome to the stream. Tr uh, stream 27,264. Still doesn't get the difference between steel and silver. Did I use the silver one? I thought I used silver on that. She Or did I say it wrong? I'm willing to admit that I probably made a mistake. Ryan, it's boob day, by the way. We're off to go kill... Um, I decided while it's quiet at the start to go and do some contracts. I used steel. Wait, so have I had it, have I had it wrong every time? I always thought that was silver. I mean, I initially got the steel one out, but I thought I'd switched. Yeah, you may be right. <laughs> My mistake. Still, did a fair bit of damage, though. The old... Good job, ads overpowered. Yeah, but I've got two contracts. One to kill um, Devourers, and one to kill Alps, which is basically naked people. Straight as steel. Oh, I just must have misclicked then, because my intention was to click that, then click add, and then go. So I must have just not clicked it, right? I see, I see. It was more a case of execution than faulty knowledge. <laughs> You may notice, though, seeing as it is stream 27,264, that I still haven't used any bombs or oils. Because I don't fucking understand how it works. <laughs> to be honest, though, we're getting by without it, right? Times. I'm sure there'll be a boss or something at some point that'll require it. May I help you? Yes, madam, I would like to... Nothing. Farewell. I would like to speak to your husband. There he is. Sir! How can I help? Who uses them anyway? Yeah, people playing on the stupid hard difficulty, maybe. My camera's all over the place lately. Sense it yourself, you stupid piece. There we go, that looks better. Sir, One thing. Yes? I would like to access my bank, please. If that's okay. And I would like to put in some useless books that we don't need. What else is there in here that I'm not going to use? The oils, curiously. Don't need fledder fangs. I'll keep some flint just to be safe. Do I need a pouch of salt? Yeah, that might come in handy if Didsbury Dan comes in. I intended to use the throwing knives in two. Carried the ones from the beginning. Oops, shit. To the end of the game. <laughs> exactly. Consumables in games. Well, they're not consumables per se, are they? But consumables in games. I, I don't know if I like it. It's alright in WoW or something where I know exactly the... It's designed in a way that the, the using them is significant, but for the most part, especially single-player games, you just you save them too long, don't you, and never use the fucking things. What's the Gavin Free method of if he gets a rocket launcher, he uses it on the next two enemies? It sounds daft, but at least it gets used. Okay, I need a crypt, because I'm looking for naked people. Uh... Right, we'll go to the ruins. I don't think there is any crypt there. I might have to go to the fields and check there as well. But we're going to find naked ladies and we're going to kill them all for a contract. It's like some sort of anti-nudist quest. 
Ugh, at least the coffee's good today. Do I actually? I never actually checked if I have the devourers. Oh, I do. Devourers are scavengers which live near human settlements, usually in caves and ruins. So I might get some devourers over by these ruins. I need a certain amount of, like, devourer nipples or something for this quest. If I can get these two contracts chopped off while it's quiet in the stream, it will be alright to just go gung-ho on the uh, story stuff later on. Any devourers? Hello, devourers. Fucking hell, typical. Can't even loot this guy. He's been devoured. Anything good in the basket? Hello? A bunch of food, a bunch of orange, but more importantly, some diamond dust. That stuff's overpowered. But still no devourers. That's like, oh god, it's a giant caterpillar thing. Am I even at the ruins? Yeah. No idea. Right, let's go to the fields. If I remember, there were some devourers near the... That, like, abandoned farm building. I think I got killed by one during a midstream break at one point. Right, group style. Come on, I'll collect all these wolves up. We'll do some big spins. Just to get the blood flowing. Come on, everybody! I think I'm using the wrong sword for this. But the good thing about the big spins is it rarely matters. That's so powerful it almost feels bad to use it to that extent. Good loot from it though. I wish there was a hotkey that was just transfer all. Is it enter? Space? Tab? No. Just press the button. Or you could like right or shift click and it would transfer all the loot from the corpse. Right, devourers. I need loads of you. Apparently it's the witch that's collecting devourer tips. Do you know Abigail that moved out? The uh, disgusting sex card, as I think we'll call it. Oh, God! Wanderer, driven on by the wind as I am, why do you disturb me? I don't want to kill Selina. Do we help her or kill her? Uh, mm, uh, I'd like to help. Dear noble heart, I am damned for the ages. If I find a way, I'll return. Nay, you hate me as all do. Woe is me. Ooh. Okay, this is the first time we've actually killed someone we got a sex card from. Shut up, Alvin. Die, please. Or have we killed a sex card in the past? Do I hear something else spawn? Run, girl, run. Oh shit, Alvin, I thought you was her then. Grove, welcome to the stream. Greetings on New Earth Rotation, fellow human. <laughs> you sound like a WoW NPC. Scrub, welcome to the stream. Seeing as it's quiet at the start of the stream, we are just taking advantage of the quiet moment to um, kill some women. I've just killed Selena. I got a sex card from her. Damn it. Right, let's go find some devourers. Scrub, are you well? Ow, that is fucking hot. Ow. There we go. If I remember, instead of noon rates that patrol around here, it's devourers. I think. Because obviously it's night time. I apologise if, uh, if the visuals are blurry, by the way. This grass plays fuck up when it comes to processing the video and streaming it out. All my metrics are within normal parameters. Are you actually a robot scrub and you're... Uh, there, there. Big women. And your programming's gone faulty and you, uh, you're you exposing yourself. Now, this is where we kill big women. 
Do I go all in and put diamond dust on my sword, or is that too much? Let's just go whetstone. Geralt. Good work. Now we're going to be killing multiple uh, devourers at once. So if you're of a nervous disposition, I'd be careful, because there's going to be some saggers flying around. Oh, there's Dagon worshippers as well. I don't need that. I don't want to... Pull, I want to pull the devourers without pulling the worship. Do it. Fuck. Well, let me just kill these two. Not you, Alvin. Fuck off. Come on, Geralt. I think the fish people that we're looking to help are not allied with these fish people. Human sarcasm. Not computed to have sufficient funny rating. <laughs> that sounds about right. If you were to ask the uh, YouTube algorithm why it doesn't recommend Doom House Gaming Best Ops, I think that's what it'd say. Woo! Okay, we're good, we're good. I killed them two. I'm assuming there isn't another one, because there's usually only two that follow the, like, the leader. But somebody killed the leader, and I don't think it was me. There's a devourer in the trench. The devourer on the hill. I thought there was three. You're all prepare yourself. But I can't walk up that cliffy bit there. I don't know how many devourers I need, actually. Look up. Shit, where did you go? There. Madam. I'm coming for you. There's very little enemies where you need the heavy stance. Look at this. Beautiful. Although I don't know whether these would benefit from me using the heavy stance. Let's have a go. It works. But it might not be necessary. Actually, yeah, this is definitely it. Enough of that. Real scrub, are you well? And can you die now in three, two, one? Fuck. There's another one right behind it. Holy shit, there's loads of them all of a sudden. Good. Very good, I'd rather not die, thanks. I know, right? What more can we ask? Right, I've got three devourer teeth, and I need... Quests. Uh, devourer contract. Where are you? There. Ten. Shit. Right, it's seven more. I think I left one back there in the trench, didn't I? Don't pull anything else. Please don't pull anything else. That's bad. Come on, stun. Stun works, stun. Shit. They always fall down. I want them to be properly stunned. I don't know if there's a heightened chance to stun. I actually sp haven't spent any talent points in a while. I've done a bit of a sibbles. So maybe I'll get some talent points spent and then we'll get on with it. Get on with uh, st hopefully stunning more with Ard. Right, please drop two. Shit. Right, four out of ten. Fucking Alvin, stop running at me like that. A wyvern, that's not going to drop me any devourer's teeth. Although I've pulled something. Why is the music going all tense? God, I bet this is so blurry on stream because of all this grass. My sincere apologies if it is. Although it's probably blurring my face a little bit. There she is. It's so dark as well. But it has to be dark because this is a nighttime quest. Look at that, it's just pitch black. Fuck, I can't get back up, can I? I'm guessing I can't walk up here. Come on, girl, you've got some good grip in your shoes. Fucking damn it. Ow! You don't need to see, you can just hear it. It's not a visual medium, is it, Twitch? Let's be honest. <laughs> it's so dark. And then even if you could see, there'd be nothing to see. Who this? You have issues. I've got issues of um, Buy Magazine from the 50s all the way up until the present day, Trim, if that's what you're referring to. Trim, welcome to the stream. Are you back on the British shores yet? Because we've got a tall tale to complete. 
Might be worth some money if you sell it. I know, right? Bi monthly in the 50s. You can't imagine that was a, a well read magazine, can you? <laughs> You're still not back on human shores. You're trying to scale that wall to get out. Right, where's this devourer? It just disappeared. I'm sure, I'm going to kill a fat naked lady just for you. Leave tomorrow, but we'll be back until Thursday morning. How long's the journey? You're only crossing five hours of time zones, aren't you? Or have you got, it's got to be like E.T. where you've got to go into one of them big tents and get hosed down when you get back to prison. Ooh! There's two. I didn't realise there's two. Geralt, what are you doing? Stand up. That's bad. Ah! Does the axe work at all? It does, but you can't use any of your witcher spells. Tell you what we'll do, we'll igni. Try to get some fire damage on them. I don't want to fight two of the fucking thing. It's an eight hour flight. Oh, you're good. coming back real late. I mean, that hurt quite considerably. Bi monthly back then was tea or bickies. Why not both? <laughs> Bi beverage. Holy shit. Is it Bi beverage? Right, let me run back. I want to stay near this corpse because I could lose him in this long grass. Woof! Igni does some damage all of a sudden. So tomorrow 7pm EST, so that's like 11 UK time. There you go, everybody. All you trim fans out there. You can meet him at the airport in a Mark Chapman style... Uh, no, that's a bad thing to say. Stop saying that. Jeff, cut that, please. Trim fans meeting you at the airport with a dangerous look in their eyes. Right, I have seven. I need three more. I really don't understand why this is like a pleasant sort of Englishy looking countryside area. And it's full of monkeys. Like little primate things with curly tails. They had their honeymoon scrub, him and his dearest, in Disney. And I think that's the coolest thing in the world. It's great. It's, that was, it's the most sort of fuck it, let's do what we like honeymoon ever. Far be it from me to compliment Trim, but I think it's top. Where are these big women? Don't clip that. Trim, I don't want that to be your um, sub-sound from this point forward. We didn't want to have a sit on the beach and do nothing all day holiday. Agreed. Agreed. What's the point in coming back brown when you've basically done shit all for all that time? I sit on my ass at home. <laughs> Dan, welcome to the stream. If you're going to cough, please cough in Trim's direction. So there are many fat women that need killing uh, in game, and I'm the only person that seems able to do it. We need to kill three more fat women. Oh, not these two again! Your honeymoon is supposed to do each other. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They're married. Oh God! I just did a married people don't have much sex joke. If I were you, everybody, I'd just leave this channel right now. I think I've just hit the bottom of the barrel really hard. <laughs> Summon, welcome to the stream. Summon, have you got a day off work today? I'm going to keep asking until the answer is yes. Have they finally relinquished uh, your... Sorry, have they finally pulled back on you being able to... Sorry, have they finally stopped you going in and risking yourself? No. They... <laughs> Shit. You got kicked off the register. Or was you licking people? Well, that guy's got no loot. He was coughing. <laughs> You're coughing too much. So instead of uh, instead of telling you to go home and look after yourself, they've just pulled you away from the more public side of things and carry on working. So now you're on the sanitation team. Is it their job to infect the entire building? Or town? 
Some people here are paying time and a half for people just to come in. I wish I worked at one. Damn. They are, jokes aside, though, the economy is going to be in a strange position after this. Isn't it? It's gonna, it's, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but it's going to be interesting to watch and scary in equal measure. Apart from whoever someone works for, which apparently is going to be absolutely <laughs> booming because everybody's carried on working. We needed another recession anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. Just to just to flush off all that smugness we were feeling when we were all kind of well off. Econ got cancelled too, despite it being in May. Shit. So that's D&D cancelled. A convention cancelled. But you still have to work. I feel for those working for Virgin. They've been told not to work. They've been told to not work for eight weeks unpaid. Woof. You better hope you've got some fucking savings in that scenario, right? Where's all these devourers? Right, I'm gonna so I'm gonna sit down and sleep for an entire day. People cancelled all the construction work. There's half finished homes and remodels we were, uh, we were working on that just up and cancelled until the virus is over. The thing is, is it all happened all at once, right? I was listening to a football podcast earlier, and it was from Wednesday last week, and they were talking about the fucking upcoming games tomorrow, they were talking about travelling abroad, like, the vi virus is just sort of, oh yeah, this is a bit scary, we'll all have to wash our hands. And then in that gap, it's not even been a week, and everything's on immediate lockdown now. It's all come about so quick. Right, Geralt, just sleep for 20 hours. The wording I heard was asked to, in which case, no. <laughs> All right, then, so just don't come back, I think would be the answer to that. Read somewhere that Branson could pay his uh, workers 10 grand for those eight weeks and still have 4 billion quid left. <whistles> come on, Richard Branson. He's quite the philanthropist, though, isn't he? If there was any of these big millionaires that I think would be willing to do that, it's the big BG or it's him, surely. And he's not going to do it. Oh, there you go. Tiny little bit of faith in humanity. Questionable faith. <laughs> right, girl, you've slept all the night through. We need to find three big women. Have I been attacked? No, I haven't. Why would they? That doesn't help them make more money. I know, right? It's a shame, right? All these massive major big companies and corporations, like... All their workforce and their their bottom their like ground staff and all this sort of people all of a sudden can't work and can't leave their houses, and the businesses fall apart. Like, why can't they just keep the company pulled up by their bootstraps? Is that not working for him? Branson's asking the UK government to bail him out because he has a seven point five billion bill. That's for the poor people, not those, not for those with money. True, true. What do those with money need to do? Go to the government, I guess, for a bailout. So he's not paying his tax because he has a 7.5 billion bill. What, just to bail them out? Oh, there's my scimitar! <laughs> Sorry, I just get excited because I realised I accidentally dropped a very important item at one point and couldn't remember where it was. And I've just found it again. There you go, Ryan. Turns out that scimitar, it got killed. I dropped that by mistake one time. Working for Whole Foods and they could 110% uh, they could 110% uh, pay us to stay home if sick. And will they? Will they? Will they? B uh, bollocks. Gwynblade, welcome to the stream. Unless confirmed corona. So what you're saying is summon. I know it did sound like I just stammered, didn't it? Will they ba 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 ba? I can't. Do, the trouble is now, I can't do that impression. By the way, if you're just joining, I'm running around a, a wood, a field in circles, trying to look for naked, fat old ladies. If you all just want a bit of a story update, because I need three of them, three of them killed for a contract. You don't even have testing here yet. <gasps> it's two there.
Ooh, that looked bad when she jumped up really high on the screen there. Never mind that. But tonight, what are you doing in game? <laughs> I've already done a married people don't have sex joke, couldn't we? So the bar's already incredibly low. I'll rename the stream to Gary Barlow. Come on! Problem is with these big women, so resilient. Oh, fuck off, Alvin. Right, we've got 8 out of 10. Please have one. Please have one. 9 out of 10. If I was to look for old women with their uh, breasts out, where's the best place to look? I'm going to have a pair. Spoke to a UK family a few days ago and they've only just flown out there. On the day everybody else, uh, everyone, sorry, on the day everything is being closed, he felt for them. Poor bastards. So they're just going to sit there. That's if Disneyland stays open, though, Trim. They've got basically zero queue for the rides. I bet you didn't, did you? Straight to the front was Trim. Into that child seat. And he was off on every single ride. Ah! It's the standard for the community. What, the low, the, the low bar? <laughs> oh, dear. Fable is the place you'd look for old women with their jebs out. That is true. I feel like I should reinstall uh, Fable. Oh, what about that for an end of year stream? Where at the end of the year, I open every game and we go and visit all our favourite characters. We go and see Polly and Fable. We go and see um, uh, the old Brickmaker, etc, etc. We just go on like a tour of the uh, the best game. <laughs> that would be terrible. There'd be so little gameplay. It'd be all loading screens. But it's worth it because we get one more chance to see a bar, 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 bar brickmaker. I'm kind of glad that I can't do that impression as well as Dan. Because Dan, when Dan does it, not only is it spot on and sounds like the character, but it also makes him sound like he has a stammer. Oh, it's just fish people. Where's the naked ladies? I need one more. It's like 15 minutes away from the midstream break. I don't want you two. Piss off. Is it really going to be one of them situations where I need one more and I can't find it? Uh, ah. Not enough green titties. Use one of them N N N V M E S S D S to reduce load time. Weird, isn't it? Thinking that Witcher Three would, uh, sorry, Witcher One would be used on such a powerful card. Oh, found some. This is it. Quest over. Are we ready? Come on, girl. Group style. Gather the two together. Shut up, Alvin. Nobody cares. And that was big damage. Holy shit, what have I pulled here? Have them things been following me all the way around the field? This is bad. Ow, I'm taking a lot of damage. Ah. <laughs> Actually, that went quite well. Shit, there's still a devourer in the background. Can everybody please die? I keep thinking back to that moment outside Kaer Morhen at the start of this game where we fought that, uh, that like, frightener, that big snake thing, and rang that bell and all that. How long ago was that? That honestly feels like it might have been three years ago. I think it feels like Goose Game was more recent than that. Right. It was 96. It was more than a day. Definitely more than a day's play. This is the 30th two-hour stream today. So, Grand Theft Auto 4 was 28 three-hour streams. So that's obviously way, way higher. That's bordering on, what, 90 streams. This is 60, so it's getting there. But I think we're saved by the fact that it's only two-hour ones. Will everyone please die and then everyone drops? 
you listen to my command, you see, Trim. I've specced. It may look like I've specced into big spins and uh, high damage with the silver sword, but what I've actually specced in is mind control over big, dead, fat women. And all it took was one word. I'll show you the talent tree, but the icons are disgusting. They're beautiful. What else do I need to... Oh, I need to kill some skinny naked women, actually. How much did you pay for this? Work out how many hours you and your viewers have had entertainment per pound. Alright, so... I paid, I think, seven quid for it on GOG. That means that for seven pound, let's say we get ten hours per pound of entertainment, or, or of Witcher, and I have had roughly ten hours per pound, and my viewers have had maybe, I think, sort of fifteen pence worth of entertainment out of it. There's maybe been one or two things that one of the NPCs have said, but otherwise it's been just me talking. When was that? It's usually about 30p on Steam. I know, I don't know why. I've, like, I've never seen it for any lower. Chris Man, my love, welcome to the stream. My excitement's genuine when Chris Man comes in. Are you well, Chris Man? I've just killed some big naked ladies, and I'm going to go and kill some skinny la naked ladies. I have ten devourer teeth. Oh, the local witch, I forgot. Where does she live? Oh, she lives next door to the pub, that's handy. Die, you old hag. I am well. Good to hear it. Where is our clerk? Still can't get back into the city, Chris, man. But I did... Right. I am going to go and hand stuff into Abigail, who we have had a sex card off in the past. But Selina, who I've also had a sex card off in the past, I had to kill earlier in the stream. So we're one X sex card down. What do you want? She's the one with the disgusting sex card. Did you post this notice? About the devourer's teeth? I need ten for a love potion. You better not use it on me. Here they are. Thank you. Right, contract complete. Now I also have... The... This one that I can finally hand in. Because <laughs> I forgot this is the thing that I picked up off the floor. Is she the scat one? No, she's not. She's the. Uh... Well, alright. Everybody just look away. I'm going to show a disgusting sex card. Which is this one. Actually, yeah, that might be scat now you've said it. Chris Man's into it, evidently. I like now everybody's filtered in that I'm supposed to stop doing contracts, but I just feel like finishing them now. Although I might no. Yeah. Huh? I don't know. Hello? How do I I don't know. Right, I have to take advantage of an empty resort for my last few days here. That sounds like sitting around all day, doesn't it? Love you, Trim. Get back soon, we've got a tall tale to do. That is a nice cow. Damn. Right, I'm gonna go wait the town official up or something in the middle of the night and hand him some uh, some gubs wait what he doesn't sleep at his office what kind of worker is he has he got a picture of Charles Manson on his wall I mean this guy the fuck I can't tell Trim to have fun and be good because he's not going to do either of the of the of those. Right, I need somewhere to sleep. Oh, I don't want to go and pay for it. Can I sleep at the blacksmith's house with his wife? Look at that chicken field. Right, I'm going to sleep. Then we're going to hand the contract in. Then we're going to go and speak to the fish people because we've got a rather tricky uh, race war going on. Between the humans and the fish people. 
Cat named the stream after fish and then forget to even talk to the fucking things. Which one is it? The 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 male innkeeper or the female innkeeper that gives you five orans? Because one charges you five and one charges seven. Cardi, welcome to the stream. We have done one thing today, and that is kill some big women. Can I help you? Madam, are you five or are you seven? May I help you? Please be uh, please be five. Got any rooms? Five orans. Oh, bargain. It may be. Thank you, madam. Right, let me just spend some talents. I want to see if I can get Ard to increase the stun a bit more. Don't want knockdown, we want stun. Stun plus 25%. Beautiful. Don't want no I don't want knockdown, I want stun. Can't get any of them, can I? Damn it. Look at all the talent points I've got. I don't want knockdown, I want stun. Hmm. Okay, we'll spend that. Igni, we can... Yeah, we want incineration damage. I can add fear to Igni. Damage depends on sign intensity. Yeah, I'll go for that as well. Don't use Quen very often, do I? Or Axie or Yerdu. It's always Ard or Igni in this place. What do you mean, not that one? What have I done? Satan, welcome to the stream. Fattest. <laughs> It's all hard or igni, right? Let's see if I can spend some silver talents in a better position. Damage. Hmm. Third attack in the sequence consists of five blows. That's big spins. Oh, see, I want to spend them all in group silver. I've got all group silver and all group steel. I've run out of talent points. Let's gather all these up. I might as well spend all my... Uh, bronze ones, seeing as I never do. I'll just stick them in anything that can receive them. See, this is how you do it. This is what Siddle should have done. Just dump them anywhere, Siddles. Right, let's sleep till morning. What time does the uh, town clerk start work? Not town clerk. Chris, man, you put the town clerk in my head now. I got all excited. What time does the town elder, or whatever his name, start work? Oh, you always go to the back door for crying out loud. Right, Julian should be in here somewhere. He is. His wife's died, so he's got time to speak to me, you know. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. What's the symptoms again? Is sneezing one of them, or is it coughing, or is it both? Oh, I hear that when his sneeze goes away. Uh, Stubble the symptoms are a little yellow family from Springfield. <laughs> Is it a dry cough, though? So apparently someone at work has been taken off the public facing areas because she was coughing too much and has been put in the sanitation department instead. Oh, fuck it up. It is a dry cough. Wait, 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 wait. Summer. I think you should immediately go and get checked out, right? Try your hardest to try and get some sort of diagnosis. I know it's difficult at the moment because we can't have you contracting coronavirus something because you're a green. And we wanted an orange to get the five points for being the first to contract it. So just just, just try your hardest for us, oranges. <laughs> In the US, what is healthcare? Go to that shaman Beastie at the side Beta? of the road. Don't call me Beastie Bear. Um, I'm here about the notice. What do you have for me? Nothing yet. Is it Geralt. still valid? It is. Geralt, what are you doing? Am I at the wrong place? The monster from the crypt in the fields is dead. I probably slaughtered many villages in its time. It's sorry. I should take the trophy to the village chief and collect my reward. The Semitor, right? Semitor head. You can't see that. You can just see it poking up here, look. Yeah? What does that say there? It says trophy. But above that, Semitor head. 
So I have it on my person. You can see it dangling from my waist. So if I speak to him... Beastie beta? Sanitation department is just a fancy word for shower. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. I've got proof. The scimitar from the crypt. I've seen enough proof. Your 800 orins. Yes, I thought I'd broke that quest. That's a weird way to go around it, because usually you just press I'm here about the notice. Lovely. Um, um, oh, I need to speak to the... Right, well, let's do the... F we are now in human-fish relations. We have to somehow broke a piece because there's a bit of a race war that's kicked off and I don't think it's over anything serious. The Vodian are the name of the fish people. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Sometimes he's driven off by Dagon's worshippers, but he always returns. I see. I've got a monstrous eyebrow that keeps going down in front of my eye. And she's obsessed with it. She, she keeps insisting on trying to cut it and get at it, but I'm keeping it out of stubbornness. And fucking hell, it's like... It's like two inches long at this point. So it keeps getting him away. If you see me blinking, you'll know why. Right, what did he say? I need to go and speak to the guy by the... See, this is the one. Actually, let me just ask you a, a, a question. Press 1 to talk to fish people. Press 2... To kill some naked ladies. Just ask him. So just, just, just start to give a bit of, you know, choose your own adventure style. Kill some fish people. Eat the fish people. Well, I think I know who everybody's going to side with. <laughs> Immediately, everybody goes clean off script and says, fuck the fish people. Or maybe not in those words. Okay. Right, save, save, hello, how do I join? The village chief will pay anyone who brings him five alp fangs. Okay, so we'll go for fish people, because it's the closest to what you said. Uh, this one. Berengar told me about the conflict between the humans and the Vodjanoi. The humans are led by Julian, while the Vodjanoi follow their priest. I need to speak to both. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Uh, no, I'm gonna do it, madam. I just said I was gonna do it. What 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 clip of just that, just constantly. <laughs> Cheeky, welcome to the street stream. Thank you for the bits and the kind words. I know, right? Apparently as well, Scrub, is because they are different every time. Apparently he does it live. The thing is, is Pete... Uh, I nearly called him Pizza then. Is Cheeky has been in the stream for ten minutes. He's just been sat going... On his keyboard, between the T, the W, and the A key. Just getting it nice and ready. Nice and perfect. I pray for the day one day you do what, um, what Dan does sometimes and forget the cheer one bit and just write the message in chat. Because it'd be funny just to see it pop up without any, <laughs> without the uh, letters. Off for a run back for a marble, hopefully. Gwynblade, have a good one. Actually, that's a good point. I need to, uh, I need to go for a quick midstream break. I apologise, ladies and gents. It uh, feels like I've only just gone live ten seconds ago. I'm going to go for a quick midstream break. I'm going to leave you with a couple of chickens in the background. How about that? Due to corona, my treatment has been cancelled. Was due on Friday. Shit. Is that not going to set you back too much, is it, Chief? I hope it's not going to have too many side effects. Right, quick midstream break, ladies and gents. I shall be back. <gasps>
it stinks. Moon rates? Nonsense. Oh, ouch! Come from afar, see no sign of a wedding. Ouch, you out, 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 Coughs everywhere, this is fine. What was you doing, Dad? What was that? I could hear that through the fucking headphones while I was at the other side of the room. Uh, there's no way of knowing. The worst case is my MS will reactivate. Surely they can't let her go that far. I hope not, anyway. Infusion of a few different methacines. Doctor reassured me that it should not be an issue, but we might look recently. <laughs> yeah, like Scrub says. There's no such thing as good luck going around at the moment, I don't think, but it's open, uh, cheeky. Did we Dan summon? Thank you for the bits while I was away. What's this guy doing here? Eric, welcome to the stream. He is in and then he is out. Good to see you, Eric. Getting some Papa John's, no need for coffee when you've got some food. Did I accidentally tempt you into getting it when uh, I said the P word? See, this is why he's banned. Right, what was we doing? Oh god, I've got to go and talk about politics. Ugh. Does anybody fancy some interspecies politics? See, this is why I killed a bunch of naked women at the start of the stream. Best timed... Was it actually good timed bits? Tasty seahorse stinky cheese. Actually, let me... I'm going to listen to this. Okay, I'm gonna watch it, boys and girls. I'm gonna watch a clip. This is unprecedented. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna have it on though. You won't be able to see it because I can't be able to set that up. But I just want to hear Dan's perfectly timed bits. Is he trolling me? <laughs> you fucker. Alright, I'll give you that. That was quite well timed. Alright, Dan. Fine. 
Fucking hell, I can see that in the best of already. There's going to be spam in the best of. Interspecies reviewer Stubbler edition. I mean, interspecies politics is fine. Just kill all the humans and let God sort them out. Well said, Scrove. Kill all the humans. Easy peasy. Right, fish man. No, Julian, we need to talk to you about how you're treating the fish people. I'll give you that one, there. Get out. Uh, but, uh, hmm. I've taken Beringer's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. We have a serious problem. The underwater city is the source of the village's wealth. A while back, a group of our divers went missing. Later, we found their boat adrift. Inside, it was Slaughter Witcher. Someone cut them to bits. Then we learned the Vodyanoi worship a monster that thirsts for human blood. Uh-oh. They make bloody sacrifices to it on the island. If you eliminated that monstrosity... Have you tried talking to the Vodyanoi? That makes no sense. They don't understand our language. Anyway, the underwater ruins are of a human city. We're fully entitled to what's there. Kill Dagon. That's the monster's name. The entire village will be grateful, and I'll give you one of my grandfather's diamonds. Hang on a minute. In typical Witcher fashion, there's no right or wrong answer to this. Wait. There is an underwater human city that sank. Okay. Which means that all the gubs in it are human. So, if it's a case of which species deserves it, you could say the humans do, if that if that's a rule at all. But, the fish people worship a massive beast that's under there, killing all the divers. Now, that beast is in its own territory... This is just an unfortunate coming together, right? Human sarcasm, not confused. I mean, we, I think we all knew you'd say kill the beast, Grove, but... Hmm. Has the beast done anything wrong objectively? It has from a human perspective, but has it objectively? Is it a case of poking the bear? It might be, Eric. The humans are trying to get to... Some wealth of theirs at the bottom of the lake. Now, the bottom of the lake is objectively the fish people's territory. But it is human gubs. Now, when the humans try and go down there, they don't get attacked by the fish people. They get attacked by a big beast that the fish people worship. This is an interesting conundrum. Yeah, we had a good run. It's time for the intergalactic octopus to rule. Did you read that report that came out late last year about the inter about um your, your human gubs that uh, uh, the octopuses? It is believed scientists believe that octopuses were seeded by an extraterrestrial race, even being one themselves. And there was this big long article about what the scientists believe, all this, and then right at the end it said it's probably not true though, and then just closed, and that was it. It's amazing. I love that. It's the best clickbait ever. Uh, mm, I'll do it. Dagon emerges from the water when blood runs down the altar. Fish people bleed too, you know. Okay. Farewell. Now, he's just given us a contract to kill the beast that the Dagon worship. To be honest, though, the Vodjanoi are the fish people. I've just realised those that worship Dagon are a subsect of the fish people, like religious cultists. Maybe it wouldn't be that bad a thing killing the beast. Don't go, uh, don't got to worry about poking the bear if the bear is dead. True. I think what Eric meant by the bear would be in the political situation. Hmm. I'm going to go and speak to the fish priest thing, see what he thinks, because he might be all about killing that thing as well. Because half of them worship human gods, and the other half worship this stupid beast in the lake. Applies there too. Yeah, I guess if you kill the political situation by just butchering all the humans, then there is no political situation and you needn't worry. You're right. Alright, let's... 
Because it might be a thing... This might mend relations. Like, if we go and talk to the main bulk of the fish people and say, the humans want us to kill that god that your religious fanatics worship, that might work for both sides. Fucking turbocharged toast to launch the bread halfway across the room. <laughs> you shouldn't have put an injection engine in it, cheeky. We had this discussion. <laughs> All non-humans should be exterminated and give way to the chosen people, the humans. But the humans in this game are garbage. Ghastly people they are. The only good ones are those that have either been turned into witches or turned into sorceresses. The rest of them are all dickheads that are fingering each other and mostly their own family. Oh, God! Fucking Dagon worshippers. Actually, I need to kill a few of these. Fuck it, let's go down this path. I don't want to. Help me. Kill Alvin for me, can you please, everybody? Right, we're going to get some big dick one shots going here. Watch this. Politics is for pricks. It is, let's end it. Oh, I forgot to put a new talent into uh, this spec. Fuck. I think I need some blood to put on the... Hey, this is like Chris Man. His tail wiggles when he's laid down. Press 1 to visit the fish god. They didn't drop any gubs. Press two to go without the blessing for today. I killed. Why they did not have any loot? Eric says, "Visit the fish god. Prepare everybody." If we have a double fish god, then I renounce religion. Denounce religion. Three, two, one. We've got the double fish god. No, no, no. Do not worship false idols. Something's gone wrong. Something's gone very wrong. I don't know what we do with the future of our religion. We only started it two weeks ago, and now it's already uh, shaken to the core. I must have a meeting about this. What if that was Dagon? What if that's the beast that they're all worshipping? Eric, do you feel satisfied from that, since you requested the visit? Right. You do. Good, good, good. But even though there was a double. Priest, speak to me. Talk. Good for Talu. Right. Um, you're going to have to listen really carefully to this because he doesn't speak very much English or whatever the Witcher language is. I've taken Berenger's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We Lady Love, yet not all. Many Dagon love, Lady Leave. The humans kill. I plead your sword, Dagon, tis love. My give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village, Dagon for her come. This love, Dagon, my give reward. Something sword, something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love big blood bovine on altar. Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. Urarararu. Okay, now this is the... That is... That is a really nice cow. Nah, screw it. If you haven't seen this cow, it's a beauty. 
all the villagers just come out and stand around and stare at it all day. This is this is a pretty this is a pretty nice cow. I don't know about luring it and killing it on the altar. Right. This is this is the, hmm. No, I agree, Scrove. We're in a good position, but what we have to do is kill a very nice cow. He is very much a fish man. The thing is, the villagers have two things going for them. They've got the religion, which they don't seem to give a fuck about. And the other thing is the prize cow. Now, this is a real beauty. They just stand around all day and stare at it. And if you go anywhere near it, you get its fucking backstory. I don't know. I ain't no Hindu, so I'm not... Yeah, he would be Scruff, definitely. I mean, he's not going to be when we get there, but... If he had, if this narrative was in any other direction, he'd fawn over this cow. It's a beauty, right, Ryan? Uh, the villagers aren't going to be happy with this. It looked for a split second like we might be able to broke a piece. Hmm. All right, I'll lure the cow to the altar and kill Dagon. Talk, good for Talu. Look, I'm no cowherd, so I don't quite know how to lure the big blood bovine. Fruits and nuts. Big blood bovine loves fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts? Those peasants are mad. They're gonna be mad when we kill the prize winner. I must go to the village and lure the cow away. They say it likes fruits and nuts. I've got to bring the cow here and slaughter it. Cats, welcome to the stream, if I didn't say so before. How are you? We just You find us facing a pretty difficult moral quandary. The self-identified pragmatist has said it's just a cow, who cares? But the cow itself... Like Ryan says, it's a prize winner. Do I have fruits and nuts? I've got some strawberries, some pineapple, no nuts. Maybe I've got some nuts in the bank. If not, I might be able to buy some nuts from the innkeeper. I don't know. There was a talk at one point of the cow being one of the best characters in this game. Just found out the Euros have moved to next year, kind of planned around that, so, do, so I need adjustments. It's weird, right? It's going to be strange calling it Euro 20... What year is it? Euro 2021. 20, For some reason it's odd having it, uh, odd numbers. Everybody pay respects to Orga. He got eaten by a wyvern on his way to uh, murky waters. We shall miss him a little bit. Can't remember how he died. We think it was maybe a wyvern. For some reason he got labelled Augur and then we all immediately forgot why. Berengar, I'll speak to you later. I've got a very important mission on. I've seen some difficult choices in games, by the way, but this... I feel really bad for the villagers. Such a good cow. Another thing as well, it's orange. Right, we need to be objective here. Look at this cow. I need to buy some nuts as well, or maybe get some from the shops. I don't think you can get any here. I'm not sure if there's a merchant How kicking strange. around. Oh, there's Adam's house. Wait, Olga did say to maybe kill Adam if we get a chance. Fuck, his door's locked. Typical. These are all just pet. Look at it though. Okay, right, have a pineapple. Is it following me? No way, what? How am I supposed to lure it out? I'll give it a strawberry. 
Are you following me now? What the hell, Carol? So it won't take strawberries and it won't take dried fruit. Augur, welcome to the stream. Hey, Stub, actually, anyone who has any experience with WoW. Staff that's useless but gives underwater breathing. Way worse than your current weapon. Is that a need or a greed? Greed, yeah, because it's got sort of side uses at best. It depends. In that scenario, a person would have to give a good case for why they needed it before they press need. Right, let's see if this cow eats blueberries. Oh, we've, we've got to slaughter the prize-winning cow. We've got to bait it so it gets eaten by a big monster. You're different. If there's a reason, in, if he says, oh, I need it because I'm currently farming XYZ that needs me to be underwater, or I'm currently doing XYZ, then need it. You need so it can be vended. There are some people that think like that. You can recognise them from a mile off because they've got no guild. Fucking warrior needed it when called out by everyone else in the party. He said it's an upgrade for his underwater breathing. Fucking asshole. If he just said that beforehand and said, can I need it for this reason, maybe. Right, I'm going to go and get some nuts. Because cows like nuts, apparently. Didn't need it for any farm. Do you know what I mean, though? If he just said, I would like to need on this because I, uh, I'm i going to appreciate underwater breathing. Do you know what I mean? If he made a case for it, then that's fine. But... If he needs it first and then starts exploding, then it's a bit of a dickhead thing to do, right? Sothan, my love! Welcome to the stream. Sothan, I have a bit of a moral quandary. The two factions in this area are the humans and the fish people. Thandia, welcome to the stream. You can hear this as well. The fish people have splintered into two camps. The good and the religious zealots. The religious zealots worship a giant big fish thing called Dagon. The humans would like Dagon dead as well, so everybody wants Dagon killed. The only way to lure Dagon out and kill him is to sacrifice the prize-winning cow that the village loves so much. I don't feel good about it because it's a very nice cow. How can I help? For everyone who's like would have liked that equally. Yeah, exactly. Just I'm fucking dead. ask if you're going to do yes? something like that. Are the zealots killing everyone or something? They are. They're a bit violent. And the uh, the big beast thing is extremely violent and it's killing people as well. So, we're going to have to sacrifice the prize-winning bull to manage to, to kill the thing. And it doesn't feel good. Right, I've got no nuts in there, do I? So I need nuts and fruit to pull... How can I the help? beast out of the water to then kill it. No, nuts and fruit to take the cow over to the altar, slit its throat, and when the blood runs into the water, the beast will rise, I can kill it happily ever after. But it's just sacrificing that cow. One thing. Yes? I need some fruit and some nuts as well. Um Why don't you sell anything? Farewell. Mina, welcome to the stream as well, as well as Stand here. Been very good, sir Then how are you? Right. Is there a waitress? They think of nothing but there, money. waitress. How can I help? Is a, the bull a primary source of income for the village? It's a prize winner. They all stand around it and just stare at it all day in love. Right, I need some fruits and some nuts. Three pears, yes. Thank you very much. I'll buy all your melons. Shout out to Thandir. I'll buy one of your strawberries, sir. Thank you very much. But there is no nuts. You know the blood thing? Why does no one ever just slice a hand, flank, etc., bleed into it and just let it go? I know, right? We have to sacrifice the best animal in the history of the world. I shall buy the grilled chicken sandwich, even though it's not grilled, because Mina's in the stream and she wouldn't have it any other way. My classes have been cancelled and have been moved online, which is a frustrating thing. So I've got a difficult enough semester already. Now you've got to do it with no teacher. So then, that sounds terrible. Right, where do you buy nuts? Selena's house, baker? Would the baker sell nuts? I'm guessing not. Adam's house, Selena's house. Healer's hut, probably not. 
the nut house. The nut house. Right, let me go speak to Abigail. She might sell nuts. It stinks. I like three of my professors this semester. I always learn much better when I'm in that scenario anyway, when you're in a learning environment. I can steal a chicken off the table. Abigail, can you please give me some nuts? What do you want? No more instruction or assistance, no lessons, just fuck off and figure it out. Oh, and keep paying us, no refunds. <laughs> Precisely. Alina, sell me some nuts. Fuck. Why has nobody got any nuts? Right, let me see if I can lure it out. Let's see. Oh, Alina's got nuts in her. Ooh, diamond dust. Shit. Oh, and some candy as well. Tippy top. That's the thing, right? We all like can't. We can all kind of feel a bit bad about like, oh, football's cancelled, or oh, college is cancelled, or etc. etc. But you, we all have to sort of pay attention to why it's happening, don't we? we I don't know about anybody else, but I feel kind of bad for moaning about football being cancelled. But it's the only way that it's currently affecting me. Right, let's go try and lure the car out with uh, car cow out with just fruit. In fairness, all of my teachers have been proactive with trying to figure out a good way to make it effective. That's the thing. If there's a lack of effort, then that's the thing to worry about, isn't it? But if they're trying, then you can go with them, okay? Everyone's got to adapt. Precisely, Fendi. Precisely. And, like, with Cheeky, Cheeky's the one that's, like, genuinely in danger with his, like, his treatment getting sort of postponed and stuff like that. So I don't think I've got really a leg to stand on when it comes to moaning about football fixtures. Everyone would be more upset if it wasn't you. And you got COVID or something. Yeah, exactly. If it wasn't cancelled, sorry. John Oliver did about 45 second bit of him crying about Liverpool's championship be, uh, being taken away from him. It might happen, yeah, but... Like, there's very, 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 very few people that have the disease. Yeah, everybody in the world is currently being affected by it, right? It's an odd perspective thing. Where can I buy fruits and nuts? Let me see if I can lure the cow out with just fruit. I'm trying to figure out what to do with no work for the next few months. Don't watch Doom House content. Save yourself. Right, prize winning cow. Apparently I have to lure you out. Would you like a strawberry? No. Okay, fine. Would you like a pear? What do you want? A melon. The Vodjan priest wants me to kill Dagon. To summon him, I must kill the villager's champion cow. Somehow, I doubt this will improve relations between the races. I should go to the village and grab the cow. They say it likes fruit and nuts. I am giving it fruit. Speak your riddle, mammal. What if I give it some raspberries? Wonder why we don't have more beds than we do, though. It's like the insurance companies we were talking about earlier. Moo twat moo. Oh, trying to moo. If everybody was sick all at once, if everybody made phone calls all at once, the phone lines would break. If everybody took insurance policies out, they'd all break. If everybody was ill at the same time, the hospitals would fall apart. Like, it's it's about numbers, right? Hang on. I've just solved the hospital problem. Take your own with you when you go. There you go. Just turn up with loads of mattresses. <laughs> Cheeky, thank you for the bits, by the way. So it's not eating anything. What about hair? I don't think I've got any hair to give it, Sothan. And they say it likes fruit and nuts. You bring a sleeping bag. It's true. Sleep in the car park. I forgot I have a hospital bed in my closet. <laughs> That's from your days in the S&M community, right, Sothan? Blueberries! Mm -hmm. uh, pear. Is there an item called fruit and nuts? Peasant woman, speak to me. I know exactly what you're thinking. Gazing at me that way. Alright, man. Peasant man. Oh. What heat? May the sun set quickly. Though recently I've had terrible dreams of night wraiths. Tell me your dreams. 
Midnight demons emerge when the moon is high. I dream they carry me through the air, dance around me, then let me fall. Where did these dreams come from? <sighs> One night, I saw night wraiths dancing in the fields. Even as I say this, I feel my flesh creep. Another time. Sothan just had a good idea, right? Surely the problem isn't that you're trying to steal it in at uh, midday. You raise a good point, Sothan. Let me come back at night. So there are only two options for this quest. Help the fish. Help humans. Is there a third option? Uh, I think this is the third option. I think. But to be honest, like... I think the quest's all about finding a solution that would make both happy, right? Which is killing the thing that the religious idiots... Because the religious idiots are a problem for both sides. I think this is the common ground, because we're trying to secure relations. This is help the fish. It's either help the fish, help the humans, and nothing else. To summon Dagon, I must kill his follower who lives in a... T Ooh! Julian wants me to kill Dagon. I can summon the beast by killing his follower who lives in the temple on Black Turn Isle. Right, here we go then. We've got a moral quandary. Press 1 to summon him by killing a fish lord. Press 2 to summon him by killing the cow. 1 to kill the fish lord. 2 to kill the cow. Thandia says kill the fish lord. Cardi says fish lord, Eric fish lord, Augur fish lord, Ryan cow. This is interesting. I'm being advised not to go to public places, and so is my man, but basically neither of us can go to the shops. <laughs> can you order in? Yeah, you might as well just get out there and get at it, right? There is strawberries in it, Thandia, there is. To help the fish, so it's either help the fish, help the humans, and nothing else. I don't think there is a third option. Right, everybody has voted to kill the fish person. Oh, <laughs> I did try and give it strawberries then, dear. But it appears that we are not killing the cow on this day. We are killing the fish person. Who else is worshipped? Can you talk to them? The fish people worship the human gods. So that's why there is an inkling of light. Or like a, a, a tiny little sort of flash of light that may cause peace if we can bring them two sides together. The human gods of Melitelli, I think. Melitelli, or however you pronounce it. Third option, just fuck off. I could do that, but unfortunately I'm trapped here because I've accidentally upset all the royalty in this area. Melitelli. Is that how you say it, Thandia? Because the, the NPCs in this call it Melitelli, 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 Melitelli. Melitelli, Melitelli. Is there a priest of them you can talk to? We talked to the uh, Vodjan priest. Can't get 800 gold for cow heads. This is the help yourself option. I guess so. Oh, by the way, everybody pay respects to Auger. He died trying to make it to Murky Waters. Sounds like something I do. Piss off everyone. <laughs> well, we accidentally slept with the king's daughter, who turned out was the villain in that uh, part. Rip Auger. There we go. The Rip Augers are coming in. Would anybody like to visit the fish god while we're in the area? The fish god blessed me to death. Right, alright. If there is one fish god, we are going to be we are gonna be blessed for the rest of the stream. If there are two fish gods, we're gonna have seriously bad luck. Are we ready? Fish gods look favourably upon us. Oh! No fish gods! See? We went to go and kill the cow. We had all intentions of killing the cow. And the fish gods have abandoned. The fish gods returned! Fish gods, give us your blessing.
We're getting serious mixed messages for him. From him. Tips for Dora to pasta me, pasta me Italy. Me, me Italy. <laughs> that works. Right, there is a fish man on here. We are going to summon a big beast by killing him, apparently. Is there a, I don't know if there is a priest. If you read the quest, the way it's written, it seems there is a third option. The priest, though, Scrove, was the guy we spoke to at the temple. 12 minutes. Scrove gets P-word in 12 minutes. Lunchtime P-word, no less. Is there a king you can talk to instead? I don't think there is. That's the only Vodjan you can speak to. But here is where we are now. The Vodjan priest wants me to kill Dagon. To summon him... I, no, that's the wrong one. This one. Julian wants me to kill Dagon. I can summon the beast by killing his follower who lives in the temple on Black Turn Isle. I doubt this will improve relations between the races. Press 1 to speak to a naked lady. I doubt this will... Hang on. The I doubt this will and the dot 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 makes me think there's got to be a third option. I know, right? Alright, Olga, this is for you. Yes. Farewell. <sighs> How far in the game are you? Oh, Thandia. This is we're about sixty hours in, and I'm not joking. It's so much fucking longer than we thought it was. Can we go back to that. <laughs> Come on, just sit there all day. Pigeons flee. Thank you very much. Trim's coming. Dude, Siddles. It's a little orange dickhead with a big forehead. Anyway, stop, stop it, Siddles. You're distracting us. Let's go to the temple. Do you like that chat, Ogre? Yeah, this game's m way bigger than I thought it was. Right. Apparently, there is a big bastard. There he is. This might be a difficult fight. Let me arm up. I'm going to whetstone my silver sword. Any idea when the game will end? Do you have such a feeling? You get into a climax. It's what feels like the end, Thandir, has happened probably three or four times. So I have absolutely no idea. I mean, we killed... No, we didn't kill. We slept with and then angered full test's daughter. Leading to this big conclusion moment that spat us out here. And then we carried on questing in this island. So I have absolutely no idea. Exhaust the dialogue. Yeah, just chat with her until there are no options. Not for any specific reason. I like the I like doing it, though, when it, there's a context for it, though. Because how many times do you just walk up to somebody that you're asking for a simple task and bleed them for all the information they have? We're going to still be playing this when COVID-20 <laughs> comes around. Priest leveling, apply shield, apply shadow, start doing one damage, and tab out and talk in fucking Twitch chat. All right, Orca. Okay. If you're not going to do some proper chopping, I will. I know, I can speak to him. <laughs> I wanted to fight, pal. What? 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 He said he lives on a shack on this island. How is this not him? Hello? Okay, that worked. Oh, this is bad. I've made a terrible mistake. Holy shit, there's 200 of them. Big spin spec. Specs into this for a really... Holy shit. I'll just stop watching this and get affiliated, nerd. Hello? What have I done? Why is this? What is this? Hello? Dear gone.
I mean, oh no! The hell is that thing? Am I trapped in here? Shit, I can't get out. Dagon, pal, wait, mate, relax, wait. Diamond dust. 40% extra damage. Ooh! Run! Get up, move, 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 get up, get up, get up. Okay, that is actually fucking terrifying. Have I got a swallow potion or anything? I've never got any potions. Fuck. Fair. Uh, everybody, genuinely, is two followers away. Or he was last night, he might have got it by now. Click Augur's name and give him a follow. He's got 49, he's about to get affiliated. I'm dying. I'm dying big time. Let me just concentrate on this fight, bear with me. If I attack these... Why am I not doing any... No, but it'll get you to that point, Augur. It'll get you... Well, at least that... Pack ticked. I'm dying a lot. Why can I not do a single shred of damage to him? I need to kill his acolytes. Right, kill these fucking things. Whenever the boss gets close, I can't do any damage to, to these things. I can't just rely constantly on signs, can I? Hit him, Geralt! I think I am doing damage, but it's just not playing the sound. I don't have to fight Dagon with these two chopping me in the back. Um. There, there's a hit. Right, one down. Nice. Shit, and he immediately summons another one. I wonder if there's a finite amount of ads that he spawns. Ow. I'm getting hit from behind. This might not be a bad tactic, though, because I'm doing, like, off damage to the boss while I'm hitting the small ones. Ah! Right, another one down. No, oh, no! Fuck it, hit the boss. Look, he just immediately parries everything I do. I want to be in group stands just to kill the two ads and then I can go in after the fact. Yeah, if you haven't, honestly, click Augur's name and help us get him affiliated. That motherfucker needs it. Isn't that right, Dan? And then Dan's next. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, that guy we hosted yesterday was pretty top. Nice. No, he immediately summons another one. I think I just have to focus the boss. Is it half health, though? Right, I'm going to have to eat something. Tandy, I'm eating a strawberry just for you. Right, big dick stance. Why has he got to stun everything? Uh, parry everything. There is literally no doing damage to that boss. This is ridiculous. Tell you what I might do. I'm going to use Axie and see if I can uh, mind control one of these. Right, fight your mates. That's it. That's it. Then I can come in from behind and give him some... Oh. No, I'm just dying. I'm just dying. That looked like it was quite good for a second, though. Did I get the mind control off? I did. Which should lead me to be able to fight this thing. All right, well, they're all fighting. I'm going to neck a chicken sandwich. Sorry if I'm just shouting. This is getting a bit tense. Ugh. I'm reading chat. I honestly don't understand what the tactic is here. I'm doing some damage to the boss, but that is only because I'm doing off damage by hitting the ads. Maybe it's all about this. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to use that. No. Fucking damage coming in there. I think I need to just keep... I could just keep using Igni.
Right, big Igni. Just get the incinerate damage and get out of there. Is he taking any fire damage? I think I just need to do this, don't I? Maybe killing ads is... Oh, he's healing the ads. Please don't wipe. Ow! Because in group stance, I can manage to hit him. But it's just parrying. Whenever the boss is close, I immediately lose. What does Ad do on this fight? That's quite good, but he immediately spawns another one. Okay, maybe I just keep running around until I get Ad back. Is the boss losing health? I've got him to like 60% health or something stupid. I want to see what Ad does on the boss. Come on. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. Whoa. Geralt, hit him. Geralt. What the fuck was that? But the second the boss turns up, I immediately get knocked. You can hear me for the music, right? Do some fucking damage. Sadly. Take a cheeky, at least you can. Ah. I'm a bit upset with my Sudoku app. It says the fastest one that someone has done in the last 24 hours is 1 minute 34, which sounds suspiciously close to the time it would take for someone to copy the problem into a solver and paste it. Surely not. Surely somebody wouldn't be dishonest on the internet, so... I honestly just can't do any damage to anything now. You're dying to a boss, it seems like a good time to post that. Hey, by dying to a boss, I think you mean successfully chopping, so... I'm going to go straight back to just trying to do some AoE damage on these fuckers. Put it this way, this is way easier than killing the cow. The boss just immediately stops me from swinging anything. It's like the only thing I can actually hit is these things. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. What's the boss doing? This is the big dead. I think he's booked. I don't think so, because this game is a bit shit, so it might just be that. <laughs> right, I'm going to have an emergency uh, raspberry. Geralt, survive this. Geralt, run. It's not bugged, I just think it's the way it works. There's maybe something that, I just, that we haven't worked out yet. Geralt, move. This is a chop. Oh, how am I not dead? Maybe I just keep running an Igni in the boss. It might be a bit of a bullshit way of doing it, but it might work. Fuck, come on, Raspberry, give me some health back. Could Dagon just heal himself? Drink a potion, you fuck. So then, where am I going to get potions from if I haven't got any when I walked in here? Right, that was a good incineration on the boss. His health's going... I might get him, I might have him. But he's constantly spawning other fuckers. <laughs> I need to eat something. Please don't die while I'm eating a pear. A good witcher is always prepared, but that doesn't help me now, so then. Ah! I did a tiny bit of damage, I think. Can't attack him while he's spawning. Yeah, precisely, and I'm also not a good witcher. 
I feel like Sofan should lose Doomhouse respect points for pointing out that a good Witcher might be something that's related to me. <laughs> the Witcher is prepared to admit he's made a mistake, which I definitely have. But I need to know what I can do in this situation. I am doing damage to him, but it's very, very minimal. The Dagon worshippers share certain design characteristics with the Deep Ones from the game XCOM Terror of the Deep. Both were inspired by Deep Ones from the works of HP Lovecraft, the more you know. Doesn't help me. Sothan's looked about to beat the boss. Sothan knows. Sothan has the information. But he cannot share it. When I kill the ads, Cheeky, I've got like an AoE thing on it. It seems the AoE... I'm doing the group stance thing, basically. So if you attack one, you attack all of them. Every now and again, one gets through. But for the most part, the damage I'm doing to the boss is from this. Ah! Mostly looking up if the boss was booked or not. I'm alright, so that's fine. Worry not, I shan't share anything. Uh, I shan't share anything to a soul, and it was purely for my own fulfilment. You're good, sir. Right, let me kill the ads while there's a distance away. The thing is, I can't DPS the ads when Dagon gets close because they immediately just start dodging. Oh, that was a good one. He's going down in a minute. I can smell it. Fulfill me, sir. Mine is 100 DKP. Oh, got some colour back. Shit, sat on my foot and I was tense and didn't realise how my leg's gone dead. Oh, it really has as well. Ow, I just got crit big time. Die, dear gun! Shit, I missed the boss. I'm low on health. Right, I need to eat something quickly. It's gonna have to be a melon. Quickly, quickly! Shit, I've got no mana. This is a stupid tactic, but it's going to have to be the one that I go with, because I can't think of anything else and I've nearly got it to work. got to love it when the colour comes back. Right, Big Igni. Holy shit, it's marbles time. Ah. That went swimmingly. And I've got a sun rune. The chance of critical effects, incineration and blinding. Oh man, my legs got really dead. The GGs are flying in, and by that I mean one. Chance of critical effect, incineration and blinding, plus 25%. Can I just stick that straight on the blade? No, I didn't beat the game, Siddles, alas. Still got f what seems to be tons and tons of it left. Want me to tell you the thing that was apparently going on? So then I would love to. What was going wrong on that boss fight that I didn't manage to work out? This will be where we end the uh, Witcher stream, I believe. Siddles, welcome to the stream, if I did say so. Did I hear an ooh, ouch? You did from me. Green titty talk before you go. All right, then, we'll go and speak to her. Scrove, would you like naked or real? You can't damage the boss. Killing ads takes chunks out of his health. Huh. So Cheeky was right. I'm sure killing ads does damage to the boss. Yeah, you were right. So I was busy killing the ads, thinking that the AoE thing was what was damaging the boss. But it turns out that that was the actual... But he was tied to the... Got it, got it. See, the thing that was confusing me is the fact that my current spec is... Um, group damage. So I was thinking that, because I said tonight at one point that the group damage avoided the uh, his ability, when in reality it didn't avoid the ability it was the function of the fight. Huh. Thank you sir, Fen. <laughs> well done Cheeky, if only I'd listened to you, right? Uh, I just sent a message about what our friend uh, Eleven Freeze was up to and the chat mod moderation settings caught it up. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I see. So you got banned for saying what he said. I'd be careful actually repeating that, all because it, it will just straight up ban you if you're not careful. And it's difficult to get a claim on that. Right, Mina voted for the naked one. So we're going to go and speak to naked Tita, and then we'll do some marbles. Oh, the moderation in this. I see what you mean. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you meant you said it in Kronos. Don't say that word. 
in the Kronos chat. Because there is a chance that you might get bollocked for it. Why, what did he say? Has he done some other stupid shit? The word Kronos. Nah, there was, uh, there was some, like, lol n-word stuff and people messing about and doing it in raid chat. And I really wanted it to be a really... It would have been really fun if the officers just kicked them all and went, Nope! Do you know what I mean? Just it, imagine how satisfying it would have been if the officers just went, like, Nope, fuck that! And just booted them. And booted them from the guild and the raid. It would have been great! Oh, they were arguing who the biggest homosexual was in American politics. <laughs> Fucking hellfire. It's just one of them, I think. Yeah, wouldn't it have been satisfying, Southern? But the officers didn't, and I, and I was saying, like, are we that desperate for players? And I had a bit of a to-do with it, with everybody about it. But apparently, as Orga says, he's, uh, he's off doing it again. It's like the context was... There's a context for, for pushing the boundaries. We do it enough ourselves, don't we? But when the context's not established and it's just somebody trying to be edgy, get rid of that, right? Let's talk. Right. This is what everybody wanted to see before the stream ends. Is everybody satisfied if I was to ask her to heal me? Can you heal me? Of course, as we agreed. That physics. Ugh. Right, which, that's enough, I think. Ali, welcome to the stream. Bush in the bush. Two of them got demoted to recruit, and I think he even kicked. I'm not sure about the kick. But wouldn't it have been just so good to just... Just boot him straight away. The second that, like, Swifty would have done it in a heartbeat. If he'd have seen that happen in chat, he'd have just immediately G-kick, immediately raid kick, and kicked him out, and banned him from Discord, and said, nope, no, thank you very much. And we'd have gone with 37 people if we had to. Right, Witcher, that is done. Thank you very much, Witcher. You have been phenomenal as usual. We've got to go and, uh, we've got to go and face the fish people after what we've done after this. Kind of don't like that. Thing is, though, right, Ali? We need to pick a winner because we're going to do marbles before we end, and we need a word. Somebody suggest a word. Let me just put the scores up on the screen so you know what you're fighting for. <laughs> so, Than has selected the word because that's the first one that came up on my screen. If you would like a marble, say the word. George. Hey, Southern, I'm with you. You got it. You're right. You're right. The greens currently sit at 25 points. The oranges at 50. I hate to say it after the incident in Molten Core, but I think I might have to do something. It might have something to do with nepotism in this. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but that's different to loot, right? Mario, welcome to the stream. It's a new mode. Look, arcade mode. The arcade contains a collection of game modes that you can use to play with your viewers. Oh, with the viewers? Hello? Siddles, Didgeby Dan, thank you for the hosts. Right, who do we have? We've got Didgeby Dan, we've got Eric. Do we have Kitten? We do not. Do we have Augua? We do. Gwynblade? We do. Mina? We do. Chris Man? We do not. Ryan? We do. Pearl Gower? We do not. Satan? We do. Who, are, who is not on this list? We have a... Young Cardinal. We have a... Siddles. We have a... Scrooge. We have a... Summon. Do we have an Eric? We do. Right, if you... If I don't say your name out loud... I'm going to add more here as well. If I don't say your name out loud right now, let me know. Didgeby Dan, Eric, Augur, Gwynblade, Mina, Ryan, Satan... Cardi, Siddles, Scrove, Summon, Moria, and Sothan. I got you Sothan right at the very end. Was there a golf on there, Eric? Oh, cheeky as well. You're right, you're right. No? You see, this is why I should always just put them all in from scratch every time. Sometimes I try and cut corners and then realise I've missed a load of people. Ali, are you in the Doomhouse Discord? Because this is just for Discord folks, so I apologise for that. Good luck, Greens, says Moria. Right, that is 14 marbles. The first person to write a number between 1 and 10 picks the level. We all know what's going on. Scrove says 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
No, it's a procedural one, so we do it again. One, two, three, four. Mountain Mingle is the level that Scrove has picked for everybody. If there is nobody else joining, it should do so then, yeah. Nobody else can join. Ali, we'll get you in for the next one. Nobody else can join. In three, two, one. Didgeridoo Dan says he's going to win. Is Gwynblade going to get his third person of the century of the day in a row? Whoa, pop filter's fallen off. I apologise if that was incredibly loud. We shall go in. Fucking hell, it's fallen. I busted it as well now. Three, two, one. Good luck. I'll fuck it off on the first hurdle, by the way. <laughs> was it loud? Now my pop filter and I knocked it off. I missed it. Uh, I, uh, I fixed it, but I knocked it off and I was worried it was a bit loud. The level is called Mountain Mingle, and the current record holder is one Dark Satanica with 2 minutes and 28 seconds. Good luck to the oranges. Damn it, card has come out first. There is an or a green immediately takes the lead after I say that. Sothan is in third place, Didgeridan is in second, and Cardi is in third. If Cardi gets a good run through the Dingle Danglers, he's going to stay in first position. Summon is steaming up ahead in the behind. As we exit that uh, obstacle, Gwynblade, who's currently looking for his third win of the uh, of the week, or his third win in a row, should I say, is currently in third position. Cardi in first, and Mina as our new second. Gwynblade's had a bit of trouble getting out of the elevator in the background. Everybody's had a bit of trouble getting out of the elevator in the foreground. But Summon, I believe, Scrove. Summon in first place, Scrove in second, and Mina in third. Summon and Scrove, both for the greens. Sotham has overtaken Mina on the closest path. Summon enters the, the Twizzlers first, but there is a tumbler in our future and a few um, spinners. Many people have trouble with the spinners. Cheeky, you are still on the course, by the way. Yeah, you're doing well. Who enters the drops first? Let's see. Cardi is somewhat... I think he's regained his lead. Summon enters the first toilet. Can she get out of it quickly? Because so, uh, Cardi and Sotham are creeping up. Summon is out, Eric is out, Scrove is out, Cardi is out. This is extremely green. Didgeridan is the green, uh, orange's only hope in sixth place. With Cheeky coming up behind, but then another three greens. Where are all the oranges? This is so green. Sothan's come out ahead, Cardi's out, everybody. Cheeky is the only hope for the oranges. No, Eric, Ryan has joined the fray. Who comes out first? Summon's maintaining that lead. Cardi's trying to come up in second place. Sothan and Gwynblade. Ryan in sixth place is again the only hope for the oranges. Someone enters the final spinner. Someone told me there was free toilet paper. <laughs> Someone actually gets a chippy chop from the spinner. Can Eric get through it? He cannot. But Gwynblade takes the lead. Holy shit, there's a marble up. Why couldn't that have been an orange? That could have been an orange! What's... Fucking Augur cheating. I don't know if it's... I don't know what he did. You can't get a replay, so then. Do I PayPal you with a fiver stubbler? Yes, you do. The spinner had two exits. I think I did the same skip, but fell off. Augur beat the record. Whatever he did... He beat the record. I, I really wish there was a replay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Augur's right. I can't fucking fly around. If you look, you get dropped off here, land in this spinner, right? And then you go backwards through the tumbler and the way that we watched everybody go. Or... If you get lucky and shot here, I think there are boosters, right? And it went and shot August straight to the end. Satan's lost his record. The greens of the uh, oranges have lost another point. Right, that's rigged. That's 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 bad. That's bad news. That's there's something wrong there. 
the greens are now beyond the halfway mark and catching up. If it wasn't for golf, the oranges wouldn't have won a point for 10 days. Right. That was bad. That was really bad. Yesterday we hosted a zero viewer streamer, by the way. And I, today I think we should do it again. Let's see if there's any Rise of the Tomb Raider people streaming as we speak. Is there? We're going to host random people. There is a guy. Should we host him? I heard Slops is quite... Oh yeah, Slops is streaming. Fuck it. Right, we'll go host Slops instead. <laughs> right, everybody head over to Slops TV and try and put him off because it is now our new tactic to kill that motherfucker before he finishes this playthrough. It's got to, it's, we've got to make him die. We've got to distract him so he dies, yeah? Yeah? Follow for follow, streamer. <laughs> right, motherfuckers, I'm getting out of here. Thank you all for the bits today. Thank you for all the support. I love you all very much. Now go over here and spam just like four-letter words in Slops' channel. No, let's confuse him. We need Eric, give me a random word. So I'm going to raid Slops in a second. He's nearly done all the achievements. If we can kill him before he does the achievements, we just need to put. We just need to confuse him. All right, tap was <laughs> brilliant. I'm gonna raid slops. Right, everybody, go over there and just type tap water and spam him it in bits and everything. Perfect. Right, thank you all for today. I love you very much. We shall be continuing tomorrow with more green boobs. But for now, thank you all for joining. Thank you for all the support. I love you all very much, and I shall see you bright and early for the next one. Now go over here and start spamming tap water. It's the most important thing we've ever done. I love you all very much. But I'm getting out of here. Good night. <gasps>